slice of pizza from New York City pizza. It's the best. It's my home. Lived here my whole life. Born right here in Manhattan. Raised in the Bronx. So get ready for this shit. Cause I'm coming at you, bro. Alright. What's going on, guys? Um, I know. I've been trying to get to do some videos for the channel here but uh, I've been really 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 busy I mean it hasn't been easy for me because I keep you know getting setbacks with the throat so all right uh, before I get into that I was just gonna tell you real fast what's with the throat now you see me on RX muscle you see me on muscle sport mag um, you know YouTube channel you see me on well generation iron they filmed that a while ago but they they filmed that after the first operation. I've had two cents, uh, just to keep you guys updated, you know, the whole throat cancer thing. Um, I'm all right. Uh, the cancer is supposedly to cut it all out, and it's gone. So, uh, you know, but because I had three surgeries within, like, five weeks period, time period, my throat doesn't operate the way it used to operate. So, I and it's, I got scar tissue uh, back there. Not this. This doesn't. This is fucked up too. But it's not that nothing compared to in the throat. So um, basically, the throat the throat is uh, is not good. I have to actually relearn how to swallow all over again. Everything. So you see me on these shows, and it you know I guess it looks like because I laugh and I talk and I laugh here and I talk, but. It's not right, and even while I'm talking now, it's I got scar tissue down here, okay, and it's you know because of three surgeries in the same spot, and it, especially within five weeks, so I have, a, you know, I, I mean I'm you know it's, it's I should be fine, but it's just not. I my throat don't act right, and when I try to talk and swallow and different things, it's not the same, okay. So I'm gonna probably have to. They tell me it could take a year, so maybe it's probably never gonna be the same, but I'm gonna until I can, uh, you know get used to doing things, get used to the way that shit feels, it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel like when you swallow, so, put that aside, um, you know, I did a video for Muscle Sport Mag, and I talked about, you know, my experience with, you know, the corona bullshit and all that that's going on, and everything, and I just wanted to get a little bit deeper into it, a little clarify a few things, okay, first of all, let me just say something about the corona thing, okay, you know, this is my thoughts, and then I'm going to give you my story about it, so you guys might find this very interesting, first off, there's a cop, well, not, was living not far from where I live, 40 years old, built, great shape, worked out every day, you know, was an ex-marine, I think he was 40 years old, he got the coronavirus, and he died, right? But then at the same time, there's a 100-year-old woman who has the coronavirus, who had the coronavirus, and she's in a wheelchair, and she's like sickly health, and she, she lived, okay? So she lived, he died, and you're not going to tell me that her immune system is stronger than his immune system, okay? You're not going to tell me that, there's no way. So, how does a 100-year-old woman survive the coronavirus when, you know, this built cop marine guy doesn't? It's the same thing, you know, I just read a story on the internet where there was a girl who supposedly had the coronavirus and she had, was, you know, couldn't breathe. They sent her to the hospital. She goes to the hospital. They put her on a ventilator. All right, and uh, you know, she's in there, and they said that you know she's alone because you can't have family, and that's part of the problem with everybody. If you have, when I was in the hospital, I seen a little boy in there, and he was alone, maybe about ten years old and stuff, but he couldn't have parents there, he couldn't have anybody there, and you're at the mercy of the doctors and the nurses, and a lot of them suck. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Doctors are like lawyers, man. You know, there ain't too many of them that are really that good. You know what I mean? They're full of shit, a lot of them. And, you know, a lot of nurses have no heart, okay, and don't give two shits. So all this whole frontline stuff, you know, I'm not going to get into that. 
there's a lot that are good too, so simmer down. You know, my my wife's a nurse, whatever, simmer down. Just take it easy. I'm not saying all, but I'm saying there's a lot. Okay? Anyway, so this girl's in the hospital. And she's, you know, they were saying that the doctors wouldn't even go in the room because she had corona, right? And then, you know, she's on this ventilator and only the nurses would go in the room. And doctors avoided it. She hadn't actually seen a doctor at all. Till finally her family, she couldn't have any family there. She's all alone and this shit's, you know, she's having trouble. So they take her out of the hospital, eventually family, and they get her home. And she was doing good for a couple of days. They had her on like a breathing machine at home. And then it got bad. Dies. She dies of the corona. And then you find out it wasn't corona at all. Okay? She wasn't corona at all. She died of lung cancer. What happened was she, she had had, I think, a colon cancer, or some other cancer that had spread to her lungs and they didn't know it. All right? Uh, I believe that she, I don't know the whole story. I believe that she did know that, the, you know, about the colon cancer. I think that that was like, you know, they figured out, oh, see, you had a colon cancer before, so that weakened your immune system. Now you have to cover because she couldn't breathe. Okay? But it wasn't that. She died of lung cancer, but they were treating her for corona. She had no corona at all. She did not have coronavirus. Okay, but they treated her like she had the coronavirus, and, they, and, and that was bad. Okay, so this is the kind of shit that I'm talking about. Okay, this kind of stuff right now. You know, so, what, you know, and that's why I'm, I'm doing this video, because there's a lot of, like, confusion out there, and there's a lot of crazy shit going on. And, you know, the other thing that puzzles me about this virus is that supposedly it affects old people, right? It affects old people. And we know that the flu affects old people too. But it also affects kids. Who are the most vulnerable people to, to germs and, 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 and viruses and illnesses and sicknesses and bacteria? Kids, children, and old people, right? That's what they would say. The flu hits hard with young kids and old people. Well, how come this virus is supposed to be almost non-existent with kids, with children? The children are supposed to be very immune to this virus. How could that be? That old people are affected really hard from it, which makes sense. But that children supposedly aren't affected by this virus like adults are and like old people are. Children don't have the, the immune system that young that that adults have. So why is it that kids, even teenagers, supposedly young teenagers and young kids, don't seem to get this 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 virus as much as older people do, adults and and old people? How's that possible? Something's not right with that. Not that I want children to get it. I don't want children to get it. Of course not. I'm very children-oriented, you know what I mean? I love children. But something's not right. It's science, bro. It's science. It's, it's... Think about that. One-on-one is just not adding up. I don't know. How, do, how come this epidemic, if this is a real true pandemic, okay? Like the Black Plague, children and old people would be the first to go. Which I'm glad children are not. But again... Think about that. Nobody talks about that, but it doesn't add up. We need, children need germs to build up their immune system because they're young. We all did. Okay? And not just children, but even young teens. They supposedly, it doesn't affect them. It doesn't affect them like, like it affects old adults and older people. It just doesn't add up, man. It just doesn't add up. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Again, we build immune systems by being exposed to germs. We, we, that's how we build our immune system. All the gloves, all the masks, and all that stuff, not going anywhere. It's going to suppress your immune system. It's facts, man. It's just facts, you know. Science. But somehow or other, this disease 
hundred-year-old lady survives. She's in a wheelchair, decrepit, a young cop, built, worked out, Marine, doesn't make it. She survives. You're going to tell me her immune system is better than his. Shit is just not adding up to me. I'm just telling you. So more along the line lines, either the numbers are skewed, which I believe already the numbers are not realistic. I do believe the virus is real. Maybe they made maybe this is they made it so that it doesn't attack young kids. I don't know, I don't know how you could do that. But microbes, viruses, germs, bacteria, they don't discriminate. And the reason why the young kids, because their, their immune systems aren't developed yet, okay? And the adults, their immune system is compromised because now they're old. You're going to tell me that this virus picks and chooses? It's just... Hey, listen. I'm just giving you food for thought. This is just my perception of things, right? I mean, kind of reminds me of... You know, the movie My Cousin Vinny, all, all New York Italians, all us New York Guinea basses, we could relate to that movie. Okay. But it kind of reminds me of that. Remember when he's telling the guy that, you know, was cooking his grits? And he said, you know, are you telling me that your grit, he asked him if you cooked, uh, 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 you know, instant grits or... Or regular grits, you know, grits, and he goes, no self-respect and something who would ever eat instant grits. So he's told me, a grit in your kitchen cooks faster. It defies the laws of science and physics and all this other shit. Your grit cooks faster in your kitchen than anywhere else in the world. What I'm trying to tell you, okay, is you're telling me that this virus bypasses kids teenagers and all that shit it only goes to adults and old people are you telling me that are you telling me that a grit cooks faster in your kitchen than anywhere else is that what you're telling me is that what you're telling me come on and after a while you don't know who to believe I mean I got Dr. Fauci in 2000 well I'm getting into stuff so sit here and listen and I'm going to tell you my story so, you know, you, you listen to Dr. Fauci, and at first, he, you know, well, in 2017, he said this president's going to go through a pandemic like nothing you've ever seen. It's going to bring down this presidency. He said that. And sure, how did he know that in 2017? Then you find out that, the, you know, his little group that he works with and company also works along with the Wuhan uh, place, okay, over there in China, and they finance a lot of that studying. Which, okay, is a little bit shady, but it's not bad. It's normal, you know, I guess it's kind of normal. They're working in conjunction with each other. But how did he know in 2017, say that this president is going to come down with a pandemic like nothing you ever see? Okay, first of all. Second of all, he's a starch Democrat. Okay, there's a lot of shit about him on the internet. And, and what, but you can't go by what just what you read. you got to go by what he says. And his words were, that at first, when Trump closed down, you know, traveling, everybody, the, all the CNN guys, all the Democrats, everybody started saying, oh, you're overreacting, this is pure case of xenophobia, you know what I mean? You know, that's racist, that's all this other bullshit. Fauci didn't say it was racist, he said he's overreacting. At first he said it's fine, everything's fine, there's no need to panic, this and that. Then they all changed their tune. Now Trump didn't act fast enough. Now, uh, you know, it's not the, didn't come from Wuhan. It's, you know, you got idiots like Cuomo, it's a European virus. This is not a you know, European virus. You know what I mean? Be a man. It's a fucking around. Anyway, so you got Fauci saying all this shit, you know, saying then now don't, now, you know, even, even, the, even the fucking Surgeon General, don't worry, you don't need a mask, you don't need gloves. Now you need a mask, now you need gloves. Fauci went from saying you're overreacting, this is, this is not, this is not, you know, this is like the flu, it's not that bad. And then he starts with his bullshit, oh, you know, we're never going to be able to shake hands again and everything. Listen to me. If you, you know, 
the only way to beat germs and, and microbes and viruses is to be exposed to them so that you build up a natural immunity that's how we evolved as a species okay and that's how the people that have had the coronavirus they've had it that's how they've beaten it because they've been in contact with the coronavirus and then they beat it because their immune system give me in my throat give me a break Whew. my your immune system develops antibodies and it becomes able to fight the disease so if you don't have contact with germs all right then you know you're gonna make yourself to the point where you know the common cold will fucking wreak havoc in you it's like the people who live in the amazon out there if you were to go out in the amazon and go visit one of them tribes they would have to actually you know test you and do all this other shit and make sure that you don't have even a little bit of a cold. Or they won't let you in because a little, tiny little bit of the common cold could wipe out a whole Amazon tribe. Could wipe out the whole tribe, kill them all. Because they have no immune system and haven't been exposed to that. And that's how you beat these viruses. You know, they keep saying it's going to come back and everything. But the SARS didn't come back. The N1, whatever the hell that one was, N1, whatever, I forget the number, that didn't come back, okay, the swine flu didn't come back, all these things, they did not come back, okay, they did not come back, so we don't know if really the corona is going to come back, we don't know, but the only way to get, the only way to really stop it is if you build your immunity to it, and the only way you're going to build your immunity to it is to stop being afraid of germs and, I'm, and, and, and let your body's immune system because that's how we survived. That's how every species has survived because you become immune to it. Gabish, that's how you do it. So I'm not crazy about all this mask stuff and all the fucking glove stuff. I do believe you got to be cautious. I'm not saying that the virus is a hoax. I'm not saying it's not real. It is real. And um, are people dying from it? I'm sure there's people that have died from it. But there's a lot of people who have died and, and, and are listed as dying from that. Okay. And it wasn't really that. And that's where I'm going to get into my story with me. Just like that girl that died that I was just telling you about, I have the same type of experience. I had that same experience, all right, that she had. And I'm going to get into that. I'll explain a little bit of that to you. But I'm just going to say, when I looked up that cop and see why he really died, you know, he died of heart complications. Now, could that have been from the coronavirus? Yeah, it could have been. But could it have been that he just had a bad heart? Yeah. It could have been. We don't know. Because there's doctors coming out now saying that, you know, they're being told if anybody even has the virus or it doesn't even have the virus. You know, the doctors' hospitals get paid more money if somebody dies or has the corona. If you're treating corona patients, you get paid more money. All right? So we don't know. These numbers are skewed. Just like the numbers are skewed everywhere. Just like in China, they're skewed. Here, they're skewed. Okay, because it's all about the money. And everybody's getting paid. The hospitals, they make a shkarol with the fucking coronavirus. Okay? It's a fact. I already made a video. So some of you people who want to know what happened to me, right after it happened, I made the video. They said I was rushed back to the hospital. Okay? And I tell you the story of what happened to me in the shittiest fucking hospital, bro. Let me just tell you that the fucking people, they suck. But let me get into the reason why I'm telling you this. Just listen to me. Because again, it goes back to that story with the girl. Where she was in the hospital alone. No family to say, hey, how come she doesn't have any water? How come, can you get her a pillow? She, she, her head's not right. How, wait, why do you have her on a ventilator? Uh, you know, how come no doctors have seen her? You know, when your family isn't there to look out for you. Okay, don't trust them to look out. They're not going to look out for you. Okay. I'm not putting down all nurses or all doctors or any of that stuff. There's good doctors, there's great nurses, uh, great doctors and everything out there. But there's also a lot of shit out there, okay? There's a lot of shit. There's people who just, it's just their job, you know? It, it, watch that video so you'll know the story about everything that happened to me. Now, here's where we get to the part where me with the coronavirus. First of all, 
I'm strapped down. Let me get to the part where, you know, I've already told you this, but let me get to the part why. I'm strapped down, okay, and I got to be honest with you. A lot of you people don't understand this, all right? But, and it, it, I, I'm not a holy roller. I believe in God. I'm very, very into all that. Now, you may not believe in God. You may say there's no such thing. He doesn't exist. Well, I beg to differ with you because I'm going to be honest with you. I, I've had a lot of experiences with different things. We, we could get into that in another video because this is not a holy roller video and it's not a, a video. But I got to be honest with you. I prayed to God when I was, because they would not take the tubes out of my throat. I'm on a ventilator. Okay, I'm on a ventilator, and I'm in a hospital, which is known, I mean, ground zero for corona patients. So remember, in New York, and in America, at one point, you had them up in Seattle, but you also had in New Rochelle, New York, you had, which is where, near where I live, okay, which is right, you know, it's a suburb of New York City, it's right there, okay, where New York City is, you know, it's in Westchester, that's where I live, and... That was ground zero for the, for the coronavirus. And all those patients were in the same hospital I was. And we were all in ICU together. Now listen. One guy freaked out when I told this story on uh, on uh, Muscle Sport Mag. And he's like, nah, you can't be. I was in the corona. No, it was, it was uh, actually an Instagram. He's like, nah, I had the coronavirus. You know what I mean? And I was in the hospital. And you don't mix people. With... Momo, listen to me. Every hospital is different. Okay. In the ICU, there's different rooms. You're all in the same ICU in a different in rooms like this, see? And that's where I was. There was all coronas next to me in both rooms. In all the rooms. Both sides is what I meant. So, you know, I didn't realize this till later on. My girlfriend's the one who actually brought this out and I'm reading the story and all the shit hits me because and, and I've been talking about this for a little bit, but remember the, the hospitals get money for corona patients. So I'm sitting there. And I get this tube down my throat, and I, I'm, uh, and I'm like, we were saying, God, please help me. I, 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 I can't. They're not listening to me. Somehow or other, I gotta get this tube out of my throat. And I tell you this story where I, you know, they had me tied to the gurney, and I snapped the reins, and I get up and I pulled the tubes out. But I gotta be honest with you, all right? I, 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 and I wasn't, I didn't snap the reins. Because I said, ah, fuck, I got to get these tubes out. What happened was, I was laying there, I tested them a few times to see if there was, if I, because I was saying in my head, if I, if I need to snap these things, I'm going to snap them. But I, that's not how I snapped them. I snapped them out of instinct. What happened was this. I started gagging, because the tubes were in my throat, and I was moving around a lot, and I'm trying to, like, you know, wiggle around, and it started making me gag, like you puke, you know what I mean? Because they're down your throat. So, in that, all in that motion, I sat up, and as I sat up, I snapped the reins, not purposely, they just, it, they just snapped. You know what I mean? They, they, you know, I did it, but uh, I wasn't saying, let me snap the reins. I sat up because I was like, no, let me just, you know, and then I snapped them, and as soon as I snapped them, I jumped up, and I realized that the tubes, is, I jumped off the bed, and I realized the tubes are still in my mouth, so I pulled the tubes out of my mouth, and I throw them on the ground, and I tell them, listen, look, I can breathe. <sighs> I see I could breathe on my own. I don't need a fucking breathing tube. I've been telling you people to get this out of me. You can't. Why am I on a breathing tube? Why am I on a breathing tube? Why was I on a breathing tube? Is listen to me. If you went to the doctor for a sore throat and the doctor says to you, I'm going to put your arm in a cast. And you guys say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm here for a sore throat. What do I need an arm? Uh, my, my arm is fine. Why? What do I need a cast on my arm? No, I'm going to put your arm in a cast. Why is he putting your arm in a cast? And then you find out for every broken arm he treats, he gets extra money. Okay? You didn't have a broken arm. Your arm was fine. I could breathe on my own. A ventilator is for somebody who cannot breathe on their own. And you know what the worst part of a ventilator is? You know, Google. Google this. A ventilator can actually cause you to get pneumonia because you can't cough up phlegm and it actually creates phlegm because there's something in your lung. It's a tube. You know what I mean? The tubes go down there and it can actually f make you create bacteria and mucus. You can't get it up and out. So it can actually give you pneumonia. 
that's one of the side effects of being on a ventilator for too long or just being on a ventilator is possible pneumonia. So they could be giving people this virus or pneumonia and they die from that, from pneumonia, because of the ventilator. You might not need a ventilator. You just need your oxygen up if you're having trouble. Whatever. That's what the girl needed. They took her off a ventilator. She was at home. She wasn't on a ventilator, but she had an oxygen machine. But it was too late. They didn't, have, they didn't test her. Okay, They didn't notice. She had lung cancer. They were treating her like she had corona. They were treating me like I had corona. So now, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, holy fuck. You know, why am I on a ventilator, right? You know, because they're treating me like I have the, like I just said, they're treating me like I have the corona, the coronavirus, because they get more money for that. Okay, I called my girlfriend. I said, come get me out of this fucking hospital. The same thing with the girl. The doctors would not come into my room until I pulled the tubes out. That's the only time they came in my room. But they stood in the doorway. I would see them, and I would motion to them because I wanted them to come. And they would, they would say to me like this, okay, because I wanted them to come take the ventilator out. But I only had a nurse, one nurse in my room, and she had all the, the, the friggin' stuff on and everything. And remember, in, in the other video I was telling you, she would, she would, I would tell her, you know, I was motioning to please get the fucking thing out. My mouth and the words, you know. And she would hum like Mrs. Clump. She would, you remember the movie Mrs. Clump, you know, with, with, with the, what's his name there? She would hum, <laughs> like that, and it was driving me fucking crazy. And she looked like Mrs. Clump, you know. So anyway, there's no reason for me to have a ventilator or be on a ventilator when I could breathe on my own. There's no reason for that. And the only thing I can think of later on, you know, this shit hits me, is that they're trying to make it so that they can get more money and count. That I'm not saying they want you to die. Even if they say they treat you and now you're okay, they treated a corona patient, they get money for that. Do you understand that? They get money for that. But if I didn't snap those reins, how do I know what would have happened to me? I had five pick lines in me, three in this arm and two in this arm. And not one, n no fluid, no fluid going to me, not even a bag of saline in me. Five pick lines, not even a bag of saline. You know, it wasn't until after I snapped that and they took the tube out of my dick, okay? It wasn't until after that that I sat there for a little bit before I called my girlfriend. You know, I called my girlfriend and then I called, my sister called. And then, you know, she was asking, you know, do you have any fluids going in? And she called the fucking nurses and they're like, yo, why does he have any fluids in him? How could you have five pick lines? You got no fluid. You, you have him, He's in ICU with nothing in him? Just laying in ICU like that? You had him on a ventilator? Why was he on a ventilator? He could breathe. They couldn't answer it. They could not answer that. Okay? That's when I called my girlfriend. I'm like, look, you know what? Get me the fuck out of here. They tried to stop me. I told them, listen, I'll walk out of here naked. I don't give a shit. You cannot hold me against my will. Without family or somebody looking out for you, and you're just relying on a hospital to look out for you. It's bad. Okay? It's very bad. So that makes me wonder if all of these numbers that you hear of people that got corona or dying of corona or being treated for corona, it makes me wonder because I can guarantee you if I look at my fucking shit, they won't even let me I've my doctor's trying to get my fucking my uh my my um my report from that hospital and they're not sending it. That's the truth. They didn't even let my family, you know, my, they told my family I wasn't there. They lost my phone. They lost everything. I had to have a guy who I knew, a security guy, go there and fucking find it for me. Okay? They originally told my family he signed out all his clothes. I never signed out nothing. My girlfriend had to bring clothes. I went a week later after I was already out of the hospital and got my clothes and my cell phone because somebody found it for me. Like I said, a security guy. Dude, they're fucked up. And I'm just, what I'm trying to say to you is, it makes me wonder how much, how many numbers are real and are not real. Okay? It just makes me wonder. And I'm not saying that the coronavirus is fake. It is real. Okay? It's not a hoax. I know some of you guys are freaking out. It's a hoax. I don't know. I It's real, but... Is it as deadly as they say? I don't know. 
Is it as common as they say? I don't know. All I know is they treated me like I had corona. Okay? They treated me that way. I was in ICU where the corona patients were. I was in the same fucking ICU. There was no different. I, and they were, in, they were in the rooms right next to me. Each one had its own room. In ICU. Okay? And I'm on a ventilator. My problem wasn't that I couldn't breathe. My problem was right here I had to have fixed because in my mouth because of you know the bleeding so now fast forward guys listen to me you know yeah I know that and I've told you guys you gotta you know you have to be cautious you have to if you go to the gym you gotta be careful because the gym is just a breeding ground for germs anyway all right but for now, you got to be careful. Uh, but I'm starting to think that all this gloves and, 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 and masks, I think that it's warranted in some times, but not with everything. I don't think you should go crazy. The, the, the argument is correct, man. You know, if, if Walmart could have thousands of people a day go through it, where I live, this, you know, remember, I'm in New York, bro, so I'm not in Cornfield, USA. There's thousand people, they, thousands of people that get to Walmart a day, okay? Target and all those other places in a grocery store, okay? How come they can have that and people are touching the fucking bottles on the fucking stands and shit, you know, on the shelves? And nobody, you know, they're not, it's, they're not getting corona. It's, I don't know. I just don't know what to do or what to say. You have to really take care of yourselves and your family. Be cautious. If somebody in your family goes into the hospital, I remember that little boy being in the hospital. Imagine when a 10-year-old boy, no mother, no father, how scared he is. You know what I mean? Maybe they're putting him on a ventilator too. He ain't strong enough to snap the reins and pull a vent, you know, pull that shit out like I did. You know what I mean? And, and, and I'm just going to tell you right now, we have to be careful, all right? Because they're feeding us a whole fucking... How come Fauci said in the beginning, you got to be like, well, dude, no, you can't start panicking, you can't start... Wait, you don't need to... It's it, This is no more than like the flu. He said that shit. And now all of a sudden, we, you know, this may never leave. You know, they're contradicting the shit they said. Oh, Trump, you fucking... Oh, you're closed. You, that's xenophobic. You, you know, you're closing down a fucking travel to China and back and all this shit. And now they're saying, oh, I should have done it earlier. You see, they're feeding you. And this is not about Donald Trump. Okay, some of you may hate his guts. You don't have to like the man. But you got to respect the office. And I don't give a shit. This is not his fault. All right? You gotta stop that shit. You gotta stop it. You don't have to like that. Dude, I hated Donald Trump. When he was a reality star, and he was doing that, you know, you're fired. I was like, what a dick. You know what I mean? But now I, I, I like him as a leader. And I like him because he's a businessman. He's not a politician. What I'm saying, and this is not... Sorry. I don't mean to make this a political rant. But we're being fed a bunch of shit. Something doesn't add up. When you hear that this cop, who's fit, shape... Ex-Marine, badass dude, gets supposedly gets the coronavirus and dies, but some hundred-year-old woman, who's already rickety like this, in a fucking wheelchair, gets it and lives. Something's not right. Now, either there's two different kind of strains of the coronavirus, either this or whatever. And when you hear what I, you know, how I'm being treated, I'm on a ventilator, and I could breathe. A ventilator is for, a cast for an arm is for a broken arm. Okay, even if you sprain your arm, they're not going to put a cast, sprain your wrist or something. They're not going to put a cast on it. You know what I mean? You get maybe, you know, a little Ace Banish thing. But you're going to get a solid, hard cast on it. Well, why was I on a ventilator? Why? Why was that girl? No doctor saw her. They assumed she had the coronavirus. They, she was listed as a coronavirus. It wasn't until after she died and they checked, they found out that she had lung cancer. She did not have the coronavirus. This is the kind of shit I'm fucking telling you. This is why you guys got to fucking take charge of your own life. If you put your own life in other people's hands, then they're controlling your life. Okay? That's all I'm telling you. 
Control your own life. Make your own decisions. Do the science. Do the math. When like Judge Judy always used to say, when something don't add up, it's because something's wrong. Okay? One and one is two. It's not 11. There's something wrong. Some, somewhere something's wrong. Okay? When you see these experts one minute saying, we don't need... Even that guy that just was on TV, uh, you know, yesterday, that guy Bright, the Dr. Bright, that said, this is going to go on, it's going to come back, when the winter comes, it starts... Meanwhile, before that, he was the one who was pushing a high oxy, uh, the hydrochloroquine, and he was the one saying this, that, the other. It was a totally different story. Now he's done a 180. Same thing with Fauci, same thing with a lot of these people. Bricks. Why is that? How could I see somebody... I'm going by what they say, the words that are coming out of their mouths. I'm not going by some conspiracy shit that I'm reading on the internet. You said it, okay? If you tell me you love me and the next minute you hit me in the head with a brick, you said you love me, now you hit me with a fucking brick? Something's wrong. You got beesh, all right? Listen to what these people are saying, and then... Watch. Take charge of your lives. Don't put your lives in other people's hands because don't expect the outcome to be what you want. You steer your own ship. Okay? That's all I want for you guys. Steer your own ship. You're the master of your ship. Your destiny lies in your hands. You got it? That's what this video is about. I, God help me. I believe that. And you don't have to believe in God or whatever, but I, I know. Because uh, literally five minutes after I asked God to help me, I said a little prayer in my head. Okay. I snapped those reins. And I didn't do it saying, okay, now I'm going to snap the reins. I didn't. I did it. I, I started choking and coughing. <coughs> and I sat up like this. And, and went like this. To, and, uh, you know, oh shit. And I jumped off the bed. And then I realized, oh shit, the tubes are still tight. I pulled them out. But I did it because something helped me to do it. All right? And I believe that was God. Now, I'm just telling you, and I realize now, control. I had to control my own life. Because I'm a control freak. That's why I don't drink, I don't smoke. I never drank, I've never been drunk in my life because I like to stay in control. Okay? Because when you drink, you give up control. Okay? That's all I'm trying to tell you. Don't let this shit get to you. Don't be depressed. Don't let, don't, don't feel down. This will end. Eventually, this too shall pass. But if you want things to go your way and you want to, you, you got to control your own life. You can't make other people do decisions. Listen, if a store says that you have to wear a mask, you to go in that store, you got to wear a mask. That's it. You got to wear a mask. Whether you believe in that or don't believe in that. If they say you got to wear a mask and gloves, you have to wear a mask and gloves. If that's what they tell you to do in that store. But you don't have to do that when you leave that store. Okay? And you don't have to get obsessed, you know? And now you're worried about fucking every little germ and everything. It's, listen to me. Do what's right for you. You have to follow the rules, though. Otherwise, they're not going to let you in the store and maybe get arrested. Until this shit passes, you got to play the game. Play the game. But walk your path. Remember what I said? Sometimes we, this was uh, bigger, stronger, faster. Sometimes we're 60, excuse me. Sometimes we don't get to choose the paths we are forced to walk in life, but we do get to cho choose the way we walk that path. Walk your path in life the way you want to walk it. You have to play the game, but you do what's right for you. All right? All right, guys. I love you guys. I just want what's right for you. Okay? I want to help you. I just hope this helps you maybe understand. If they could do this to this girl... She had cancer, and they made it look like she had fucking corona. If they can tell you that a 40-year-old fit cop who was a Marine, worked out in the gym every day, has immune system, wasn't with a fucking 100-year-old woman who was like this in a wheelchair, that her immune system's better, something's wrong. If they put, I know because of what happened to me, if they put me on a ventilator when I didn't need a ventilator, I could breathe on my own. They knew I could breathe on my own. It was, I had no problem with my lung. Why was I on a ventilator in the middle of an ICU loaded with covert patients? Why? Covert patients. I said covert. 
you know, corona patients. Why? Well, I'm in the same room with them. Well, different room, but same section. We're all in the same section, same ICU. Why? Do the math. Keep yourself safe. Keep your family safe. You know? And like I was saying before, earlier, about the children, you know what I mean? Uh, one more time, I'm going to say it again, about the children. You know, they keep saying that kids aren't affected by this corona. There's been a few kids that has got it, whatever. But they're saying this corona, what bullshit is that? What You know why? Because the flu affects young children and old people. Supposedly the coronavirus only affects old people. It's not going to affect the kids who immune systems aren't evolved like ours. Why is that? Why aren't children getting it at the rate that adults get it? Why? Children's immune system aren't what an adult's immune system are. They're not telling you something. Okay? They're not telling you something. Just telling you. Do the math. I want the best for all you guys. You know? Just please try to stay positive. You know, be good to your kids, be good to your girl, your significant other, whatever your spin is, pay your child support. You know what I mean? Don't think bad thoughts. Alright? This will pass. You will be able to go to the gym. You will get jacked again. But we got to make sure that this doesn't keep happening. And the only way to do that is by making sure the right people are in the right spots. Sorry, but the Democrats want you to stay closed and they're going to feed you. You're going to be like a mushroom. You're going to be kept in the dark and fed fucking shit. You understand what I'm saying? That's what they want. They like this. You got a few fucking governors and it's only blue states. New York sucks. New Jersey sucks. I mean, we suck. I, I, li I live here. My, I grew up here my whole life. I was born in Manhattan. Midtown Manhattan. Raised in the Bronx and in Westchester. AOC and I went to the same high school. She lived right down the block from me here. Okay, different time though. You're talking like 30 year difference, but she lived right down the block here. She ain't. She's all full of shit. Anyway, but do the math on things. Just be safe. Keep your head focused. And I'll, I'll see you guys in more. We're going to do, I'm going to be doing stuff for the, my mother-in-law. I got some great mother-in-law stories. I haven't had a chance to tell them yet. I've been so busy. Plus, this drill doesn't work right. You have no idea. I have to be very careful. Trust me. You have no clue. So you want to do the plumber thing. Sometimes I feel like I can't help my mouth when I talk and all this other shit. I think I do. My mouth closes up like this and shit. So I feel like I'm talking on helium. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's, it's fucked. It's going to take time. I've been told by the doctor six months to a year, but they're all fucking momos. Each one of them will fuck me up. You know what I mean? Don't trust the doctors unless you get the right doctor. It's like a lawyer. Get the right lawyer, everything's good. But getting the right lawyer and getting the right doctor is two different things. You ever watch the monsters inside me, the show, where people get the fucking uh, uh, parasite inside them? You ever watch that show? They go to ten doctors, each doctor tells them, oh, one's treating with antibiotics, the other one's this, oh, you got the cold, you got this, you got that, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. And all of a sudden, one doctor, just one doctor goes, oh shit, I know what this is, it's this. And, he's, and meanwhile, you've been going to doctors, these people have been going to doctors sometimes for years. And they can't get past this, this, whatever it is, or months. They've seen ten doctors, and now one doctor, after all the tests come back negative, this, that, and one doctor says, oh shit, I know what it is. And he treats them, and it's fine. And you say, well, what about all those other fucking doctors? The other nine that I went to. It's because I'm telling you. If you don't take care of yourself, nobody's going to take care of you. Okay? Remember that. So, I'll be back. I'll give you a mother-in-law story or two. I've got some fucking great ones. You remember, it's been a couple of years since I told them stories. So, she's been, you know, i got a whole bunch of shit she's pulled since then. And then we're going to do more on the channel. I'm going to get funky on here. But i got to get a chance. To, I, it's hard. I, can't, I have trouble making the, the Muscle Sport Mag videos. You know what I'm saying? And we're sponsored by... Okay. The Game Face. And I ain't trying to say this. I don't give a shit if you buy it or not. But this shit is the one thing I've been thinking for a year and a half. On experimental stuff. And it's, it's, it's better than on its alpha brain. And it's half the price. And it, it's nootropics. Dude, if you like nootropics, Game Face. Anyway, 
I love it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, until then, stop fucking around. <clears throat> you fucking momo.